Welcome everybody to, to tonight's city council meeting. Tonight's invocation will be given by myself and then followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Lord God, we give you thanks and praise. We thank you for the blessings you give us each day, Lord. We thank you for the town of Kingford that we live in. We thank you, Lord, for the good health you've given all of us. And we pray, Lord, that you continue to bless our families with, with health. And, and we look up to you, Lord, for all that we need. Lord, we uh, pray for our city of Kingsburg and all our residents. We pray that you also keep them all safe and healthy, Lord, and especially this time of uh, Christmas time when some people may uh, feel depressed or feel not worthy at this time, Lord. We pray that you uh, help them and they look to you, Lord, for, for guidance. Lord, we pray for our first responders here in Kingsburg and first responders uh, everywhere, Lord, that you keep them safe and health, healthy in all that they have to do. Lord, we uh, pray for our city council here tonight. We pray that you give us wisdom each day, and we pray that you uh, just continue, Lord, to keep our, our city safe and, and give us wisdom so that we can uh, make right decisions for our city of Kingsburg. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I'd like to call this meeting to order. Today is Wednesday, December 20th, 2023. Abby, would you please take roll call? Present. Councilmember Cassell Jr. Here. Councilmember North. Here. Councilmember Smith. Here. Mayor Palomar. Here. Next, we need to approve the agenda. Actions by council to approve the agenda or to make modifications. Items that can be added to the agenda is constrained by state law. Can I get a motion? Motion. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Tonight, presentations, we have none. Next, we have public comment. This is time for any citizen to come forward and address the city council on any issue within its jurisdiction that is not listed on the agenda. A maximum of five minutes is allowed for each speaker. Do we have anybody in our council chambers that would like to address our city council tonight? Seeing none, I will close public comment. Next, we have 2023 City Council Reorganization. All right, Mr. Mayor, City Council, I will now open the nomination period for mayor. As a reminder, there's no second motions to a nomination. Are there any nominations for mayor? I would like to nominate Brandon Purcell for mayor. Are there any other nominations? All right, I will ask for a motion to close the nomination period for mayor. Motion. A second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All right. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Wait, I, don't, I missed this last time too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to do roll call vote for um, who you vote for from mayor from the nominations. Councilmember Silva? Yes. Brandon Priestell? Sorry. Yes, Brandon Priestell. Okay. Sorry. Councilmember Priestell? Myself. <laughs> Councilmember <laughs> North. Brandon. Councilmember Smith. Um, Councilmember Purcell. All right. And then uh, Councilmember Palomar. Yes. Councilmember Brandon Purcell. All right. Councilmember Purcell Jr. has been elected as mayor. It's time to figure out whether or not I can follow the agenda now, huh? <laughs> uh, so at this time, we'd like to call for an election for mayor pro tem nominations. Um, 
I would like to nominate uh, Vince Palomar as the mayor pro tem. <clears throat> Do we have anyone else that would like to make a nomination? No. Uh, with that being said, can I get a motion for that to close to close that vote? I'll make that motion. Abby, can you do a roll call vote for that? No, I will just do an all in favor okay. to close the nomination period, then I'll do a roll call. Okay, all in favor to close the nomination? Aye. 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 Any Aye. opposed? Councilmember right. Silva? Yes. Vince Yes, Vince Palomar for pro tem. Councilmember Palomar? Yes, Vince Palomar. Myself. Councilmember North? Vince Palomar. Councilmember Smith? Councilmember Palomar. Vince Palomar. All right. Vince Palomar has been elected as mayor pro tem. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll do it after the, afterwards. Okay, so our first item. Well, actually, you know, I want to say just a couple things before we start, if that's okay, with this. <clears throat> just, um, you know, as newly elected mayor, I want to say thank you to the staff for helping me get some knowledge to be here today. Um, to everyone that's here supporting me, thank you very much. Specifically to council, um, members Silva and Smith, uh, over the last year it's been great working with you. I'm very, very thankful for your support. Um, it means a lot to me. For um, <clears throat> outgoing Mayor Palomar, I think that you are a man of this community. Um, you, you've done a great job and I'm just very thankful. Your nomination of me means a lot to me, so thank you. Um, and to Councilmember North, you know, from the onset, you've been a mentor for me. And I just, I, I appreciate it. You've led us through a lot. You've led us through a pandemic. You've led us through a lot of controversy and just a good example. So thank you. Okay, so next item is going to be our consent. <clears throat> our consent are items considered routine in nature to be placed on the consent calendar. They will be considered as one item and voted upon in one vote unless individual consideration is requested. Each vote in favor of consent calendar is considered and recorded as a separate affirmative vote for the favor in each action listed. Approval of the consent calendar items include recitals, reading ordinances by titles, and the adoption of recommended actions contained in staff reports. For today's council meeting, we have items 6.1 through 6.6. .6. Do we have anybody that would like to pull anything from council that's on the consent calendar? Is there anyone from staff that would like to pull anything from consent? Any members of the public like to pull anything from consent? Okay, if there's nothing to be pulled, we will entertain a motion. I'll make that motion. Do I'll second. Some? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Move on to the regular calendar, item 7.1. Tobacco Law Enforcement Grant Program Presentation and Resolution. Staff report prepared by Kingsburg Police Department Lieutenant Sean Stevens. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Congratulations and council. Um, this is my first time giving a staff report, so bear with me. Uh, so in June of 2023, uh, the police department applied for the uh, DOJ tobacco grant. Um, Originally, we asked for 416, just over $416,000. And what we asked for was a specialized detective to uh, work with the retailers and do compliance checks and shoulder taps uh, for three years. Um, the administrative costs for uh, human resources, um, payroll, and et cetera. Um, <coughs> we were notified in October that uh, we were awarded a grant, um, but we were awarded 23, just over $23,000. Um, and what that covered was uh, overtime for the Kingsford Police Department officers to conduct uh, decoy operations, shoulder tap operations at the local retails, and to uh, do compliance checks at the local retails, and that's for three years, a three-year period. So with this, we have to uh, we have to get this back to DOJ um, by February 24th with the approval of the council. 
uh, for the funds. Any questions? Uh, do we have <coughs> any questions from council? I had, I had one qu quick question. Um, this was an actual grant that the police department applied for, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. So was um, Townsend involved in that grant process at all? Yes. Okay. So yeah, they were. They, were they, they wrote the grant. Okay. With us. Okay. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Do we have another council discussion? Anybody Just from the public want to comment on this topic before I bring it back to council? Okay. I'll bring it back to council. Just have a comment. Just glad you guys got the uh, this grant back again. I know we were trying to get it back for the RSO officers, and I believe last year we didn't get it right. No, we we applied last year again, and they uh, we yeah. did not get it this year. Uh, DOJ ch changed their focus from uh, more of the school resource officer onto the compliance checks with the businesses, and that's why we asked for a specialized detective to uh, head that up. Any other council discussion on this? Uh, if not, the uh, ask is for acceptance of the tobacco grant program. Yes. I'll make that motion to accept. Okay. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, John. Next is item 7.2, <clears throat> the roster of council appointments. Uh, staff report is by City Clerk Abigail Palsgaard. Um, is there anything you need to announce for this? No, if you guys just want to go through one by one um, and see if you have any changes or not. Uh, okay. Um, is, is there anyone that would, is going to request a change? I have two, but uh, is there any on council? Any desires for committees that somebody would like? Um, the, the two that I'm looking at is I would like to uh, have the backup for Council of Governments be appointed to Council Member North. And I would like to um, change the Finance Committee Chairman from myself to Council Member Smith. Uh, does anyone have any? Any comments or anything that they want to discuss about those two? Okay. Well, for Pod um, and the other committees that come along with it. <coughs> yes. Yeah, so FCRTA mm -hmm. for with COG. Okay. Yeah. And finance will be just, just strictly finance. Yeah, switching. And she'll be the chairman of the finance committee now. Is it just those two with COG? FCRTA? Yeah. It is. Uh, just those two, yeah. yeah. They're back to back meetings same night. Okay. Do we need a motion for that or is that just appointments? Okay. Can I get a motion for those two changes? I'll make that motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Is there anything else you need with that? Uh, they're dark for this month, for a cog anyway. Okay, item eight, council reports and staff communication. Uh, 8.1, Community Services Commission. We haven't met. 8.2, Public Safety Committee. Public Safety, we haven't met since our last meeting. <clears throat> uh, 8.3, Chamber of Commerce. Um, council member... Yes, I do have a report. Uh, we met last week, last uh, in the morning. The chamber was plus six hundred and eighty-four dollars on the San Lucia parade, so that was a good thing. They were they were happy that the tree lighting and the parade was well attended. They said so. They were happy to see. They said it was like the most attended they have ever seen in several, several years. So they were very happy with that. Uh, the Chamber Awards this year are not going to be in January. They're going to be March 16th. Uh, the they're going to um, 
Reggie has implemented a online uh, volunteer for events. On a, his, a, oh, it's a website. So he's they're going to a website now for volunteers for events, for uh, <clears throat> vendors, all that kind of stuff, for their licenses and all that, so they can do it all online now. So trying to make it easier on the chamber. And that should be up and running, I believe, like this week or next week, he was saying, very soon. The chamber this year is going to host the Blossom Trail here in Kingsburg. Uh, I'm not sure when, what date. I, he didn't give me a date on that. I think it's usually, what, in February? February. February, February yeah. February. Okay, February. And they, uh, they had... Uh, Nominations for their officers, and the vote came out. There was no change. Reggie's still president. Tammy Dooley is still vice president. Wade Sweeney is still the treasurer, and Lisa Schwartz is still secretary. And that's my report. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Economic development? Uh, nothing to report. Finance committee, uh, we met Monday. The only topic was <clears throat> regarding our general plan update. Um, we've reworked our needs for that. And Holly in the back, hi. Uh, Holly reworked it. She did a lot of work on it, did a great job. And because of her extra efforts, extra work, we're going to be saving about $420,000 on that plan. So great job. That'll Thank you. Nice job. So that'll be coming before council sometime in January for final approval through uh, Provost and Pritchard, I believe, was the winning bid. 8.6, Planning Commission. Yeah, the Planning Commission met last night. Uh, the Planning Commission adopted a categorical exemption pursuant to CEQA guidelines for Quick Corner. And they also uh, uh, approved a categorical use permit subject to conditions of approval. Uh, so they're going to start construction, but it's the it permits uh, subject to uh, conditions of approval. You know, there's a lot of uh, conditions on that. Is that by Dollar Tree? No, that's uh, the quick corner that burnt down. It's burned down. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, pardon me, yeah. And that was all. On the, that was only on the agenda. Those two. Did I see that that's going to be a golf gas station? Yes. yes. And uh, Parminter has partnered with golf, so <laughs> it's going to look pretty much, the designs were, they showed us last night, it's going to look pretty much exactly the same except the uh, the patio cover and the, the gas pumps will have golf on them. Yeah, that's the only difference. And they'll have some, of course, some Swedish look to it, to the new building, which... Should look nice. It looks nice, actually. Yeah. Anything else from planning? No, that's it. That's my report. Yes. Eight point seven. The South Kings Groundwater Sustainability Agency Joint Powers Authority. <laughs> that's that's a lot of yeah. words. We have not met. We have not met. Downtown Business Improvement District. Eight point eight. Eight point nine. Council of Governments. We have not met, but I do want to emphasize at the last meeting. Uh, the report that we got from Caltrans was the issues on 99 with the construction, lane changing and all that. That issue that we have now is going to continue probably through April. Uh, they're anticipating at least the Selma section being done by the end of April. So just be extra cautious on that. There's accidents, it seems like, daily there. And we haven't even got into fog season. So just make sure that everybody's aware. Give yourselves lots and lots of extra time on because it's, it's going to be a while. And I, we're going to keep seeing more changes with the way that they're shifting lanes, too. So just be extra cautious on that. <coughs> 8.10, uh, council member reports. I have none. I have none. I would just like to speak a little bit. Uh, I just want to thank council for all their support, my time during mayor. Uh, thank staff. Uh, especially Abby and Alex, anytime I had questions, they were there. Uh, 
text me back right away, give me calls, and you know, always available. And I appreciate everybody's support. Uh, it was I, it was very it was very much an honor to be mayor of Kingsburg, you know, the town I'm born and raised in. And uh, now I pass the horse to Brandon, and I know Brandon will do a great job. So I'm happy for our council. Uh, can continue to work with staff and uh, keep Kingsburg going in the right direction. I know we're getting a lot of uh, compliments from citizens and. And uh, hope that continues with for the for a long time, long time to come. So thank, thanks again. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Some other reports. Uh, all I have is again, thank you, thank you, Vince. Thanks, to Council. You know, I I look at that back wall, and there's um, in the history of this town, there's twenty now twenty one people who have been the mayor. That's that's a lot of years and not a lot of people. Um, that's very humbling for me. But I want to point out that we have on this council people that get along very well, and we now have three mayors or previous mayors on the council, which is phenomenal. I think that that shows, um, it just shows consistency that our town wants, and I think that's been good. When you couple that with <clears throat> the consistency in our staff, we don't have a lot of turnover. I, I really think we're going in the right direction. I think that our city manager having a long time here, hopefully a long time to come. But we're just all going in the right direction. I'm very excited. I'm very humble to lead this council. And uh, I just thank you all very, very much for that opportunity. Uh, 811, City Manager's Report. Uh, yes, uh, congratulations, uh, Mr. Mayor and uh, Vince. It was uh, uh, an honor to work with you, and I look forward to uh, continuing it. You, uh, you did a great job. Uh, over Thank the you. past year. Uh, so a couple of brief updates. Just a reminder that the uh, uh, our next meeting, our first meeting in January, uh, is canceled uh, because of the holiday, so we'll meet again on January 17th. Uh, the final fi uh, construction phase of the fiber project is underway. We finally got that last permit from Caltrans, uh, so that, that should be completed shortly. Uh, I was looking forward to seeing that, that project uh, uh, finally, uh, the construction phase uh, being completed. Uh, and then we'll have... Uh, uh, Kingsford Media Foundation come back at the meeting in January to give an update um, on the implementation side. Uh, the 18th Avenue sidewalk project and the Madsen Avenue uh, road project are nearing completion, just very minor uh, small things left there. And then uh, we're expecting uh, the Sierra Street uh, project, the RRFB and the crosswalk project uh, to start in January. We were hopeful to start um, in December, uh, specifically with uh, the high school being out of, uh, of session, but uh, because it's on Caltrans, Caltrans does not allow any lane closures during uh, weeks with holidays, uh, which uh, we have over the next <laughs> several weeks. So uh, we have to push that out uh, until January. But uh, that concludes my report. Thank you. Uh, item nine, any future agenda items? We have listed none. Item 10, we will adjourn the meeting. That's a new thing. That's the <laughs> first one. <laughs> Pretty rare. <laughs> All right. Yep. <laughs>